Yo, what's up guys? It's Yellowfin, and in this video, I'm going to be joining the Ultima RS prelims. Not late joining this time. This one's for you, guy in the comments that was not very happy with my late join, but we are joining a day and 19 hours in, and in Italy, 1990s to 1999, and 2010 to 2019. Honestly, I don't have that great of a hand, but we're going to join anyway and see how well we can fare against the opponents. Didn't really check the track sets, I just remembered there's three or four rain, I think, so we're just going to jump right on into it and see how we can do. Okay, there's not as much rain, but that's fine. We've only really got two rain cars. The Lamborghini can be used as a rain car as well. So we'll put you on the one mile. Uh, mountain Slalom and Slalom Test. This seems like the best areas to put all these cars. Alfa Romeo 155 GTA is not going to win that forest road against the Duevo Concept. Don't have enough RQ to use the Duevo Concept though. Because I need that Zonda Z C12 for the other drags when they're not rain and I'm not using when I'm using my Lamborghini on the twisties. So Delta wins right there. The Giulia Veloce will win. Yeah, it does win against the Disco Volante. Are we lighter? We are quite a bit lighter. And this is a 233 spec, so not even a city street spec either, and we're still winning. Here goes my Lambo. 133 points right there. That is definitely a good amount of points. Two star into 37th place as of right now. I don't really believe I can get a carbon. If I can, that would be very nice if I could somehow get the GTV Cup out of this. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see what more hands are looking like. So yeah, this is where I set up my hand more for the Pagani Zonda to be used on the drags and the Aventador to go on the wet stuff. Except I feel like that car park is not the right option for it. Tokyo Loop, Hairpin, and Tokyo Drag. So this should work out now. Um, this will be a loss, I believe. Yep, lost by 50. Okay, that's not that bad. Then here will be a win. Yep, it is a win against the 124 Spider. This next race will be a potential win. I'm not sure though. Nope, it is not a potential win. Um, I was kind of hoping maybe it would be. If it's a slalom test, it would be, but car park, not so much. 113 right there though for my Aventador SV. And my Pagani Zonda will also catch a win right here against the Gran Turismo. So, 231 to 100, very good. Into ninth place now, all right. How new is this bracket? 108 out of 300, okay, so it is fairly new. Let's see what else we got now. We can definitely beat this kid. This kid can definitely lose. So, 5092, which one's lighter? 1230, 1212. You've probably got a bit, or no, you probably actually have more MRA than the, whatever it's called, I can't remember its name all of a sudden. Um. Integrale, Delta Integrale. You'll go on Tokyo Drag because it's wet, so your four-wheel drive will help. And you'll go on 50 to 150, and that'll actually be a pretty interesting race. Because the Zonda does have good MRA, so it will be pretty interesting to see. Quattro Porte also has good MRA, but looks like the 155 GTA Stradale comes out victorious in the end. Giulia Veloce will lose this, but it's kind of just here to lose. Oh, never mind! It, it won! Okay, I will take that. Julia Veloce is actually just a super good car. It wins lots of random stuff like that. And the Zonda will beat the Lamborghini on the 50 to 150, which is good to know. Here, my Lamborghini will destroy the Hyena. 153 points right there. And this last race will also be a win against the 164 Super. So 353 to 0 right there. That is definitely a big win. Fifth place now. And now we'll be able to see what the upper hands are. Take a bit of a peek. Sam has a stupid good hand. He's got a maxed out HP Barchetta. All right. So does Priscilla. This guy's also got a good hand. Uh, he's doing the Barchetta strategy. Go with the Fiat Barchetta and use it on the twisties. That makes sense. It's honestly not a bad strat, which I maybe should go for in the future. All right, we'll go for this guy. We can probably beat this guy, I believe. Because that's a win, that's a win. That could be a potential win. That's a loss, and that's a win. So we have three wins, maybe four, depending on if our Alpha can win. 130 points there, though, against the Dardo. So pretty solid win right there. Then here, the Aventador SV beats the Roadster. I'll have to see if maybe I switch it up for the Fiat Barchetta. Because it might be not a bad idea to run another Legend or maybe my maxed out Valentino Balboni. 
Ah, uh, nope, the GTA Stradale loses to the Delta, all right. But the Julia Veloce will win here by 50 against the 695 Posto. We could take a, take a look. I don't think my Barchetta is maxed out though, which is the only thing. Yeah, no, it's stock. But how much RQ would that really even get us anyway? 75, which isn't enough. Yeah, I'm not sure how good of a strategy that would be anyway. Would kind of screw up my hand. Because we do have a bit of a good thing going right now. So this guy is a... Hmm, let's see. One mile we can win. Four slalom we can win. And we can win the forest road. Yeah, so we're chilling. We might even be able to get three if we can be the Dwayville concept on that city streets. You go in slalom, mountain slalom, and one mile. All right, let's see. Barchetta is a win here. And then race two will also be a win with my Pagani. Gets the new Stratos. Yep, 50 points there. Then this one, Integrale, could win, potentially. We are faster off to 0-60. to 60. We are running away, but it is catching up on the corners. But nope, we run away fast enough, so the Delta does take the win. You know, the Delta Maso is not that good of a use in this event, unless you max it out, but... I don't know how many people have the Dwayville concept maxed out. And then here, 54 points against the Gallardo, or not Gallardo, Lamborghini, Lamborghini, whatever. So there we go. Third place, 5-0 right now. I don't know if we can get a carbon with this hand. Would be pretty cool if I can. I would be happy with the GTV Cup or the Gialetta TCR. I kind of doubt I'll get the Gialetta though. But the GTV Cup would actually be a pretty nice snag if I am able to pull that off. But that'll be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of content, make sure to like, subscribe, join the Discord server, link in the description. If we reach 2,000 subscribers, I will do a 2 million pack opening. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed yet. And I'm Yellowfin. Thanks for watching and goodbye.